All right. Fourth chapter, St. John. Ninth verse. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, uh -huh. How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, yeah. which am a woman of Samaria? Yeah. Are you other know, Jews? They have no dealing with the Samaritans. Yeah, we don't even get along. How y'all, our families ain't never got along. How you gonna come talk to me about Jesus? I don't know about me, but I have zero beats down this area, but I know in Coco we got certain families, they don't get along. Nobody met with this family. I don't even gonna say their name because she got me on video. <laughs> but when you mention their last name, Terrible people. All right. We don't. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, who it is, go ahead. And who it is that said to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you read that correct? What did Jesus ask the woman? Give me the drink. And now he's saying, I got water. So why is he asking the woman to give something to drink? If he already got water. A conversation. We go right to the salvation and we skip the conversation. We already got our script. If you were to die today, where would you spend eternity? We already got our script. Instead of being personable, having a conversation with people. Huh? That bishop got worn through hunting. He had a hunting party who was saved. And for years, he witnessed to them every time they went hunting. And he eventually got saved. We don't, even, we don't even do the personal thing. It's almost like the reason you're talking to me because you want me to come to your church. The reason you 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 witnessing to me because you want a blessing. You're trying to get a blessing from God. That's the only reason you're witnessing to me. No, man, I actually care about you. All right, give me the drink. Let's go. And then uh, that's going to be that part there. The woman said unto him, Sirs, I have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that given water? Yeah. All right, there's a scripture in the Bible where Jesus said, I didn't take you to the next chapter. And he said, The harvest. The church is saying, the folk don't want to be saved. And Jesus is saying, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. God needs some workers. And I think that this is a good thing that we're just trying to figure out. How do we do the works of God? How do we do the works of God? How do we get this done? And I think the first part of it that I want to bring out today was you got to be personable. You got to be personable. You don't, don't go right to the juggler. You got to have relationships with people. What we did uh, in one city when we went out uh, in Lakeland, I can say that. I don't tell you. What we did in Lakeland, uh, was you in Lakeland, Grace? Mm -hmm. Yes. What was our instruction that when we went out in Lakeland? We went and knocked on the door and we went to uh, do it. What with people? Evangelize. Evangelize. And the way that we evangelized, we just came to pray. We knocked on the door. We didn't invite them to the church. We didn't give them a flyer. We just said, hey, we know things are rough for everybody. So we just come to pray with you. Is it okay if we pray with you? A little prayer don't hurt nobody. And we prayed with the drug addicts. We prayed with the families. We prayed with the children. We prayed with everybody. And then the second part of that was we followed up. We came back in the next week and we said to them, but what things are better? 
They said, oh, I got a job, and such and such and such and such. And, and we kept, because once they start seeing the miracles, can I tell y'all something? Bishop, you don't mind if I say that miracles just don't happen in the church. When Jesus was around, the miracles happened out there. <laughs> when they met the, gate, the man at the gate, he was sitting outside in the church. He was at the gate. When he came in the church, he came in the church to testify. The works are done out there. But we try to get him in here to do the works. But do you know if you can pray for somebody and the Lord will come in and the Lord will heal them in their house? And when the Lord heals them in the house, go where they want to go? Where you go. They want to follow you because they see the signs and wonders. But we can't hardly get saints to pray with people. Because we already have our script, and our script says you invite them out. Our script says you tell them about Jesus, and you do that. We're so non-personal. We're almost to a point that we spook them. So they make the Holy Ghost a scary thing. The Holy Ghost is not a scary thing. The Holy Ghost is a good thing. When you check those scriptures out, you'll find that, especially in the New Testament, most of the miracles happen outside of the church. The majority of the miracles happen outside of the church because the church was on the move. And when they came to the synagogue to have service, those people who got those miracles came. All right, any questions or comments or thoughts? I didn't bore y'all too much. Oh, yes, yes, sir. What we want to do now is we want to we want to actually practice.